What has the AI told you you're going to find? Okay, because I'm going to come back in a few months' time and ask you, did you find that thing? So what, what are you expecting to find at those targets? Well, the machine, what the machine learning component does is it looks at all of our data and then goes, look, you know, in this area here, you've got you know, the Esperanza South resource that was part of the PA, and, you know, you know you've drilled out a lot of gold there. Um, the AI, the machine learning component of it, which is a component of AI, looks at that and then goes, look, you know, we're looking at all your data across the whole project, all these different layers of geophysics, geochemistry, geology, and, I mean, every bit of data we can put in there. And then he goes, we see very similar patterns, you know, over here and over here and over here. And we can also see that you haven't got any samples there. You didn't do soil lines, lines there, you haven't done any drilling there. You'd better go and have a look. Um, so that's the sort of the most ob obvious thing to sort of show where they come up with something which the geologist had. And, and that that's an interesting component we've been working on now because the geologists have gone back to the site and they've gone to those sites and gone, yeah, look, there's an um, informal mine working here as well. <laughs> so the Garimpo obviously found some gold here and we can see some conglomerates. So yeah, well, you'd better plant a few drill holes in these areas. Okay, I, I, I'm interested in, are, has the AI been able to say, this is not only the most prospective, but it's probably gonna deliver the highest grades Possible because again, if I look if I look to the market in a couple of, in a couple of months time or a few weeks time, I'm not quite sure how quickly you're going to be turning the the assay component around here. Um, is the market going to be excited, or is it just part of a process you're going through with your three drill rigs for the next few months? The AI, I mean, it's you know I always, I always tell people it's not magic. It comes up with exploration targets, and and we we've sort of grouped them together into. You might say sort of three different groups. You know, there's the stuff which is almost when you see it, it looks like obvious extension of the same as we have now. Um, so you consider that low risk; it's going to come here. But when you look at it, it's like it's obvious. Oh, we would have we would have noticed that. We would have found that. Then the other one, other targets are sort of same grade, same thickness as with the, the AI, as I've said, machine learning says. Look over here; you you might find the same things. The third bin, so to speak is when the AI is working with us and saying, have you thought about something completely different because there are some strange signs here, there are some strange things happening, and it could be, you know, that the conglomerate should have been here, it's not here, there was a lot of gold in the ground there, it's not where it was, where is it now? And this meets out, you know, sort of feeds into our remobilizing the gold through an intrusion target. That's the one obviously where it sort of lights up bright, so to speak, and goes, if there's something here, it's." There's a massive amount of gold being remobilized, um, but it's a lot, it's a high risk target as well. So, so yeah, we we sort of got, you know, from what you're suggesting, high grade like exciting targets, right through to what you could almost call boring, but they're still really good. You know, right. add on incremental targets. Yeah. No, I know you could have kind of got, you you could have planned this and map it out. And so you what you said, what I'm hearing though is you you set different thresholds for the different types of uh, information that you're you're trying to get back but yeah. what i'm i as an investor i'm thinking right ai that's going to make it you're going to hit uh targets more often you're going to spend less money chasing it uh you're going to get be able to understand what's under the ground better and make more informed decisions moving forward so i i, I get the planning component here but you've as a ceo got a responsibility to your geology team to do things the right way you've also got a responsibility to shareholders and kind of you know to get stories which the market will react to as well because you've got to drive that share price so yeah. how do you get that balance when you're setting the goals for your ai i think we're trying to get the balance in in the way we're planning this drill program now so we've got the three rigs on site and they're not going to go to one target and drill it out they're over the next two three months basically before christmas we're going to try and draw twelve thousand meters and we're going to try and hit as many different targets as we can so we're going to get a few holes into lots of different targets so when we go back after Christmas, we're following up. But that also means that, you know, the news flow coming out of this drilling before Christmas is going to have, you know, as a CEO, I can be fairly high, high confident. I have some good numbers because some of them are pretty obvious. Um, and then I'm going to have the high risk ones. And yeah, they might come in, they might not, but I'm going to have good stuff mixed in with it. But then the high risk ones, we'll be hitting that in four different areas as well. So, you know, we'll have... Um, you know, I think that's the way we're trying to do it. We, we, we're going to get about 10 to 12 different exploration targets hit before Christmas, you know, each of them with a few holes in them, and then afterwards go back and follow up on the ones that come out with the most exciting results.